Did you know that every second you are experiencing microwave radiation from space? That's right, microwaves. The same radiation heating your leftovers is what's heating the universe. The first time humans saw this cosmic radiation was while channel surfing on our first television sets. We didn't know it then, but we were watching the oldest radiation. Inside this radiation is our history. It describes the conditions of the early universe and today is the strongest evidence for a hot Big Bang model. Let's slow down. To understand how all this works, we need to travel back in time one month after the beginning of the cosmos, 13.8 billion years ago. Less than a second after the hot Big Bang, the universe underwent a period of massive inflation. During this period of inflation, everything grew by 60 E foldings. After this short-lived inflation epoch, the universe has continued to expand and has become a dense soup of particles about a billion degrees Celsius. That's roughly a million times hotter than the sun today. So hot that matter and energy are essentially the same thing. Our universe soup is called the photon baryon fluid because it's made of mostly photons and baryons with a dash of electrons. Photons are the light particles which carry the energy of radiation. They travel in the form of waves. Short wavelengths carry high energy. Long wavelengths carry less energy. When a photon is radiated away, it retains information about the source, such as its temperature, direction, and even its chemical composition. They carry this information until they interact with matter, which means that the photons we detect today provide us with the history of their origins. Baryons include protons and neutrons, which make up the nucleus of the atom. The atom is the fundamental building block for all matter. The simplest atom, hydrogen, requires one electron orbiting a single proton. But because the cosmos is so small and hot, the photons are energetic enough to blast electrons out of orbit. Thus, no atoms are formed and nothing matters. The universe pretty much stays as this hot cosmic soup for a while, so let's fast forward. It is now 380,000 years later. As the universe expands, it stretches the wavelength of photons, resulting in a distribution of energy across space. The dispersion of this energy has caused the cosmic soup to cool to about 3,000 degrees Celsius, roughly half the temperature of the sun today. Since the photons are traveling with longer wavelengths, they are not energetic enough to scatter off electrons in orbit. The photon baryon fluid has evaporated, let there be light and matter. This instant is recognized as the surface of last scattering, the first light of the cosmos, a snapshot of the young universe. Photons can now move much longer distances and carry the information about this time further. Electrons are free to orbit baryonic nuclei, forming the basic blocks of all life. As we move forward in time, the photon wavelength continues to stretch. At 100 million years, matter condenses to form stars. At 600 million years, our home galaxy, the Milky Way, is born. At 8.6 billion years, the sun forms, giving birth to our solar system. Today, the universe is 13.8 billion years old. It has continued to expand, and the photons of the early cosmos have continued to stretch becoming invisible low-energy microwaves, which are nearly radio waves. In the year 1964, two scientists at Bell Labs detect this radiation as noise in their radio telescope. After cleaning up the white dielectric material, bird poop, they think is interfering with their data, they discover this cosmic radiation is constant from every direction in the sky. After a paper publication, this apparent noise from the sky is recognized as remnant radiation from the earliest observable moment in the evolution of the universe. A baby picture of the cosmos called the cosmic microwave background. 
This radiation from the CMB is what heats the empty voids of space to three degrees above absolute zero, 2.725 Kelvin. Today, we know the CMB is the heat radiation from the evaporation of the early cosmic soup. It is evidence that the universe was once a hot, dense fluid that has been expanding. We interpret this as evidence of the Big Bang, but we don't know what happened before this picture. Cosmologists consider a number of origins for the cosmos based on this CMB radiation, but the most widely accepted model is the hot Big Bang. If the universe weren't expanding, we wouldn't be here, and it would still be a hot soup of energy and matter.